Hi friends, my name is Peter Sprague. Um, I've had over the years many requests to explain some of my gear, my guitars, and take you through a little tour of my sonic world that I have going on over here at Sprague-land. So this is a technical meeting that we're going to have, and thanks for coming along. Let's check it out. Starting off with this guitar. This is a guitar that I had built for me by a man named Eurus Zeltens, and he's an old gypsy guitar builder, runs a place in San Diego called The Blue Guitar. He built this for me around 30 years ago. Uh, it's a nylon string. It, it, it's Brazilian rosewood, which is some incredible wood. It's my favorite guitar. I've recorded almost all my records on this instrument. Um, it's got a beautiful sound. The action is great. The intonation is fairly good. You know, nylon guitars, as you get up higher, and start fingering things up in this area, it gets tricky, but this is one of the better instruments. Um, I have a pickup in it. Mostly I record acoustic, but it is, it is a nice sounding pickup. And one, one thing that I do when I record um, solo stuff is I do do things like have a little bit of that direct pickup coming through. Like in my studio right now, I'm mostly using these two mics. They're Neumann. Uh, 184 KM 184 mics, they're fantastic mics. I mostly use these, but I'll put a little bit of the direct in there too, and I think that's a really nice sound. Okay, so that's the guitar. So why don't I show off a few of my guitars, the three main guitars that I use, and then we'll talk about my signal path that I use um, to get to the amp and, and the loops and stuff like that. Oh, one last thing. You see this thing right here? This is called a eye stand. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. And you know, traditionally, classical guitarists would put a footstool on the floor and it, it would prop their leg up like this. And, and, and because you want for kind of, I, I, I play in a kind of a classical style and I like the guitar up really high. I don't like it down low like this. So, so I'd want it to be high. And, and traditionally, you'd use a foot pedal to do that, a foot stool, they call it. But this is even better because I can leave the rest of my body just even, and the guitar just sits in that position. So that's called an eye stand, and I think they're really cool. OK, so let me pick up uh, my double neck guitar. You've seen me play that probably, and that's a real special instrument. So let me pull that up. Okay, so first thing you see that I have with this, this I have uh, three plugs. And these three plugs, when I was use, just using the nylon string guitar, the three plugs didn't, I just used one of them because it only has one pickup. This guitar has two pickups, and why three plugs is because one of them is for the guitar synthesizer. So this goes to one of the pickups, that goes to another one of the pickups, and then this is, is plugs in and that's going to go to the synthesizer. So this is a double neck guitar. The top neck are nylon strings like a classical, lower neck steel strings like a jazz guitar or an electric guitar. I had it made for me by a guy named Andy Powers and it's I think an incredible instrument. The intonation is fantastic, the playability, the sound. Um, it's, it's a guitar that is hollow but it does have a solid piece of wood through this part, sort of like an ES-335 Gibson, where, and that's how those humbuckers, um, that's how they attach to that solid piece of wood. And that solid piece of wood also makes the guitar have, you know, not that much acoustic quality. 
It's really an electric guitar. It's very stable though. That piece of wood causes it to have really good sustain and it's very stable in its pitch. So the double neck guitar, uh, let's talk about the, the top neck first. That's a nylon string and the pickup that's used on this uh, nylon string part of it is called an RMC pickup. You've seen them in the guitar, like Godan guitars. They use that same pickup. And it's a pickup that puts out, of course, it's a Piezo pickup, so it puts out audio, but it also puts out the information to send it to the guitar synth. So this is a guitar preamp right here. This determines, these two switches determine which, uh, well, let me, uh, let me go further. Uh, this right here on the lower neck is also a Godan pickup, a different type, but it too, either that or that talk to this preamp. If these two switches are down, this is talking to the preamp. If they're up like that, this is talking to the preamp. And when the preamp, we have volume, I'll set it about there. We have highs, mids, lows, and then this is the MIDI volume. This switch, these switches change, MIDI, uh, change the patches on the MIDI, and we'll, we'll look at that. This sets where the mid EQ is gonna be. I leave it set there. Okay, so that's a little bit of the technology here. This lower neck also has these, these two pickups, which are humbuckers, and that's these switches right here. They control the humbuckers. Now we're gonna just play a little bit of the nylon. These two switches are up, meaning this is talking to it. I put on the volume pad a little bit, and then I... Okay, so that's my basic sound on the nylon. Then, if I now want to play uh, this, the lower neck, I switch those two down, and now what is talking to the, the lower neck is this pickup here, and it's, it's, it's a pickup built right into the bridge, and now the guitar is gonna sound like a steel string kind of. So that's sort of an acoustic sound because that pickup is a piezo pickup, which is like an acoustic. Now, I'm turning down the acoustic, these piezo pickups, and if I now turn up this, these are the, the humbuckers, and then it, it has a sound like a jazz guitar. there's all these options that's that's using the front pickup that's mostly the sound that I use but I can put set it in the middle get that I can split the coils on those pickups get kind of like a strat sound and a sound that I kind of like is where I where I use the front pickup like a jazz sound and add a little bit of the 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 piezo pickup and it gets it creates a little bit of a point to it. It's, it's nice. Okay, and I, that's, that right there, I just reached for the pick, and I have this little pick holder that I do. I really like that. One time I went to the NAMM show, and that was, the best thing, this little thing, it's called a widget, I think. And it just is a little place to stash the pickup picks. Okay, so that's this guitar. Um, 
This guitar can do MIDI, um, depending upon wh where the preamp is talking to, which neck. Both necks can do MIDI. This is pretty am amazing. So I'll turn down everything, and I'm now just going to play uh, like a flute sound. And then if I switch this up, now all of a sudden th this neck is talking to the MIDI. So that's pretty neat. I can be playing, all of a sudden I want to have MIDI, I can, whatever neck it is, I can get to it. That's pretty rare. I don't know any other guitar that can have two necks and by doing a kind of a switch. Andy told me to wire that, took a week to wire the, the switching to make it so that I could either one, whichever one would talk to MIDI. Okay, so now, um, and I'll talk now more about the MIDI after I show you my final, final guitar that I'm gonna share. I'll be right back, I'm gonna get that. Okay, so this guitar is a nylon guitar made by the same maker, Andy Powers. Um, it's a, a single neck nylon, and it was really meant for me to be for when I do my solo stuff out live. It's got co koa wood, um, beautiful wood. It has this really neat um, place that makes it easy for your arm. It has that, that same pickup system that's in the double neck guitar, it's in this system, it's, that's the RMC, and, the, and this is where he puts the preamp. And you know, before the preamp and the other one was sitting right here, but he put this one right on the side of the guitar. Um, it's a beautiful instrument. It's got great intonation. Again, not that much acoustic quality sound to it. It's really meant to be amplified, so then I put a little bit of amplification on it. And this one can do the same thing. This one has three pickups. It has that same RMC pickup that was in the other. It's right there. And then it has a pickup that's built inside, sort of a microphone that actually I reach right here and I control that. That pickup I find, I'll turn this one all the way off. So now, and then I'll turn this one up and you can hear that, this one. It, 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 there it is. It's, it's a little weird. I don't know if you can tell. kind of thumpy so what you know I, I wouldn't ever play just with that pickup I would turn that down what I like to do is turn that down just enough to get a um, a little bit of bump so that like something like that and then I use mostly the, this pickup right here and that's what I'm adjusting here and it I like when the guitar is because I like when it's um, a little, like I can tap it and get sort of some percussive sound out of it. And the reason that I like that is you'll see when I get loops, I like to add some percussion to it. So I can tell, yeah, that's about the amount that I want. Uh, of, and I tap it just to see how much it makes sure it comes through. Okay, so this guitar also can do MIDI. Okay, so that is, those are the three instruments that I play. Now let's talk a little bit about how I get my main sound going. Okay, so the main sound from this instrument is the, um, the, this pickup. And what it is, is out of this, per, out of this black cable, the, the purple cable in this particular situation is the one where it's the built-in. So you can see that I have two mics going in I mean, two outputs coming out. The third one, of course, is MIDI, and that doesn't go through this. But if you look down below me, I sit on this blue box, and in this blue box, I have a mixer. It's a Mackie mixer. I'm able to have some vocals, add vocals to the, the mix, but basically, I have a guitar sound right there, the synthesizer sound. Um, over here is how much is going to the loop. And then what I do is the guitar comes out two two cables going from the guitar, it goes into this box. 
This is called a pitch, uh, uh, this is called a blender. It's by that company called Radial. And I'm gonna show a picture, you'll see a picture on the screen of what that box is. But it basically says that I can take two lines in, those are the two lines from the guitar, and they get summed to one line, okay? The mix of the guitar stuff gets in there sort of pre-mixed. Now if you follow, the, follow this, the output of that goes into this box over here. This box is called a GT6. It's a guitar effects box, okay? So um, my basic sound is this sound. But if I want more chorus, I push that button. Another sound that I use a lot is this. It's, it's like the first sound that I had, but a little bit more chorus and reverb. When I want to get distortion, I push this box. Uh, if I'm back to here and I want an octave, That's, I get it from Pat. So this is guitar effects. A few, I have a couple that I wanted to show you that I really like. Like this is a wild sound. And then one other one I wanted to show you was this one. Just, just guitar, and, and it's infinite, that kind of stuff. There are so many different sounds there, but that's how I'm getting the guitar sounds. Now, over here on the left, you saw this black cable coming out of here from the guitar. Over on the left is what's called a GR33. That's a guitar synthesizer. The black cable from my guitar ends up coming right in here. And, at, and with this guitar synthesizer, I'm able to play guitar stuff. Like right now, I have it set for a flute sound. Some other favorite sounds. You watch, watch me over here. I, I use these buttons and I switch sounds and now I'm gonna bring up a bass. Okay, uh, a couple other, just, I, I have a pretty good trumpet sound. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, this, this is fun. It's, one thing about the guitar synth is that it's, um, you have to play super clean. It's really easy to glitch, like you heard me on those chords. That was a little clear, clean, cleaner, but it's really easy to make it sound terrible. <laughs> love it, but I love it. It's fantastic. So I have, you know, I have many sounds. Another, just I'll give you one more. I have a, like a Fender Rhodes. And in fact, a really nice sound is to add some of this guitar stuff in there. And then this is a Fender Rhodes sound, where, but the lower two strings here are programmed to be an octave lower, so they sound like a bass, so. That's really a lot of neat things that can happen with that. All right, so a, a next box I wanna show you is a looper. And I have a looper here called the Boss RC300, loop station it's called. And basically what I do is I see I'm giving it a little bit too much level, so I'm gonna back it off. Um, how I get to the looper is out of the uh, mixer, down here there's an eff effects send I think it's right, the one that I'm using is right here, yep. And what it is is, so I can send, so the effect send is an, an auxiliary loop that goes out over to the loop station's input. The loop station's output comes back into the mixer. 
But the, the, the cool thing about setting it up that way is that I can say, I want guitar to end up at the looper, I want, or I want synth, or I want both. Or if I have a vocalist, I can turn up their effects, send, and they can be in the looper. So I like that rather than pl plugging the guitars directly into the looper. It's a much better way. So right now, I'll, I'll set up a loop. So now that's looping. And then maybe I'll add a... I'll add some piano to it now. blow a little bit. I can turn it off. I can make up a new loop over here. Let's see. Let's, let's see if I can do it. Up. Okay. Two, three, four. So now I have that loop. Let's add a little bit to that. I'm able to have three separate loops. Um, you know, on each loop you can keep adding, and each loop could have different um, tempos, different keys. It's kind of cool. So you can have a whole whole lifetime of, of stuff. With all of this going together, it's a nightmare, but it's a beautiful nightmare. So I think that's it. I think that's what I have for you today. Um, Get, sh send me a line if, if there's something that didn't make sense or I talked too quickly through it. I'd be happy to kind of clarify it. But that's my rig, my little s sonic happy world over here at Sprayland. Thanks for being here with me. Then I'll blow a little bit.